low obligation film day. Let's get it. Ah, yeah, nah. Alrighty, low obligation video. Yeah, what does that mean? That means Alyssa's parts didn't arrive, which is what I intended to do this week. If you haven't seen the video of her car failing a Hume Regger inspection, check that out, that's there. Yeah, that was a stitch up. Anyway, because those parts haven't arrived yet, we're gonna be working on the 32. Kind of procrastinating taking this down for Regger because I'm terrified it won't pass for reasons I don't know about yet. But at first glance, the first few things I can guarantee it'll fail on is not having a front bumper, duh not having wipers again, duh, and uh, the rust in the back, which we're gonna cover up with the pod and pretend like no one will notice, which they almost definitely will. But that's what we're doing today. We're putting parts on 32. All right. All right, so I figure each of these jobs is gonna be an absolute pain in the butt in its own way. Except the wipers, they should be very, very straightforward, so. Let's do that first, hey? Well, they look like absolute shit, but uh, they'll do, so let's chuck them on there. I was thinking I should clean these up and paint them, but honestly, when I buy new blades, I'm more than likely to just buy the whole thing. But we're still gonna put these on there because I'm not gonna be buying blades for a little while. <laughs> so ratty. Maybe I'm better off doing this with a hood open. might sound absolutely horrible. Not even that bad, honestly. Amazing. I am really curious where water goes in these things though. Apparently it sits right there. That's horrifying. <laughs> Look at that. That's just a bit of rust waiting to happen. All right, well, I guess next we're gonna be doing the um, bumper. I think the reason this isn't going on, you can see in that corner just there and in this one just there, I've had to cut just a little bit off the bumper so it fits around the inner core piping. This side isn't fitting too well, so I think I just gotta take a bunch more out of that and then we should be right to just slot it straight on there. Well, I guess we'll have a test fit and then go from there. Right, it's actually not far off. It still needs a bit taken out, but it's not as far off as I thought. So, let's get to grinding. Right, I'm trying to do the rear ones, but I might be fucked when it comes to this. <laughs> We've got some locations here and they may or may not lead to something that I can actually bolt to. So I'm gonna drill some holes and hope for the best. All right, I think I found a way to mount them. I'm gonna use these things, which are out of my Nissan's, Nissan bin part thing. These are made to go over a sheet metal for you to then put a bolt through. So that's all we're gonna use because we're going into basically sheet metal that almost isn't there. Yep, that looks good to me. Fuck. Right, well, now that that's done, uh, I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's gonna look the same. The car is technically, <laughs> it's not done. It is so not done. Um, it's done. I'm so shit scared to take in for Edger because I just know they're going to absolutely pull the crap out of this thing. Probably going to kick the bumper and it's going to fall off and I'm going to be like, <laughs> ah, I built this. Yeah. Maybe I'll just book it in for a Sydney wet pan and trailer it down to the event before I decide to go for Edger. That way I can enjoy the car before someone pulls it apart and tells me everything that's wrong with it. That'd be cool. All right, that's it. I'm going to see you next week where maybe we'll book it in for a drift event. Who knows? I'll see you then. Bye.